So I'm gonna talk about like the main apps that you wanna use. So there is, if I can create a model for a client by 4 p.m. and right now it's 11 a.m. I just got these um, cooling globe facial, these cooling facial globes and they're so nice like. So you wanna be an industrial designer, don't. Nah, I'm just playing. I feel like you should definitely go for it, especially if you love working with computers, you love fighting with um, 3D softwares to build the shapes that you want to build and it's just rejecting completely everything that you're trying to make and you can't find the right textures to render that actually match what you're trying to design but no like if you actually use the steps that I give you in this video you will be a successful industrial designer but of course it'll only take four years of your life or you don't have to you can just go for it you can just be an industrial designer that is self-taught. I know a few people that are that. They didn't study industrial design, but they're basically doing industrial design. I know somebody who builds furniture, somebody who is working on a startup, trying to create a mental health product, like a tech product, kind of like Google, what is it called? Google Home? Yeah, Google Home. This is just the way that I went about being an industrial designer, and I graduated just minus 30 days. Before I get into this, let's get some coffee. It was mad cold outside. Like I really did not want to get this coffee, but yet I did. And I got a pizza. Shoot, I didn't mean to buy anything else. Man, I highly believe like you do not have to vlog in the back of your camera. Like I really don't see a difference. What about the vanilla frappuccino? It's not that strong, but it, it tastes so good. So I cleaned off my desk because it was disgusting, but let's talk about technology. So I'm going to talk about like the main apps that you want to use. So there is Sketchbook Pro that I use for sketching. There's Rhino 3D that I use to build 3D models. Then there is Keyshot. Keyshot is what renders your products. So here's Sketchbook Pro. This is a floor plan I did for my interior design job, but I love how there's like different kinds of pens you can use. There's just a lot of like tools you can use that I think it makes it good for industrial design in particular, like the ruler, um, there's the straight edge tool. I think it's just a good free app, honestly. And it's not that different from Procreate. So if you have Procreate, that's also a good one as well. But overall, this is a great app. So this is some work that I've done. Um, you can like do some 3D renderings and you can bring them into um, Sketchbook. That's what I like to do and like draw on top of it. That's what I did here with these um, eyeglasses for a client. And um, these are some sketches that I did. So yeah, you can really do a lot with it really. Um, and it's just a great tool to organize your sketches all in one place before i get into rhino i'm gonna talk about mice or a mouse so you want to make sure your, your mouse has like a scrolling wheel um and i highly recommend it being like battery operated um so you don't have to like plug it in or one maybe there's some that you can like charge um but yeah you have to use this when you're using cad another thing is when you're using um, heavy 3D software, I recommend having like an external drive. Um, that's also another tool. And I use this, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like an SD card, I think. Um, this is the Lexar one. And it's perfect for um, MacBooks. And you can have your own folders. I put all my apps and software in its own folder here. And I have, as you can see, the um software that i use i use um, rhino and keyshot 12 those are mac because solidworks you can't really use in mac so this is rhino so let's open this up so when you open up rhino this is what you see so what i love about rhino is that it always shows four different views it shows the top view perspective front view and the right view and i really love being able to build in this because it's so much easier than 
key shot on i mean it's so much easier than solidworks and so and you can build as many models as you want and you can import things from grabcad i could talk about this in a different video showing um, myself build different kinds of models and i've honestly learned a lot from watching tutorials on youtube but this is a model that i built for a client um, and i do a lot of my classwork in here as well um so let me see um i really love being able to create different uh, versions of the model so i will like build from one to another um you can press like shift and right click to like pan around um you can use the left um, the right to rotate and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out it's a great tool to use and as you can see you can create custom models in here really build anything you want and as long as you know how to use this software you can pretty much create anything and that is the key when it comes to industrial design um, you have to be able to represent your ideas like you start with the sketchbook pro you sketch out ideas and then you come in here to make them 3d and usually you will like import images like i think i have an image um here i just hit it like once i get far enough um but yeah like i start out with this image here and then i just drew on top of it as you can see i built on top of it and you just refine as you go along but you really just want to start with a sketch usually so you have some kind of plan and when you start that way when you have the appropriate layers over here on the right you are able to build and keep things organized into separate parts because you um i'll explain maybe in another video why it's important to do it in layers especially when you go into key shots come back to my app folder we're gonna go to key shots and honestly like i haven't even talked about the cost but I'm currently under my school's license for Rhino and Keyshot, but once you are not a student, you have to buy your own. Um, and I also have to use like a VPN to log into Keyshot um, when I'm at home or when I'm not on campus. So that's the only thing when it comes to using it. And of course, every school is different, but that's what I do. So once you connect to the floating license, um, it's gonna load and Keyshot, honestly, in my opinion, it's the best way to render. This is my watch project that I did um, for class, but also that um, I'm doing a startup for. And I already applied the material, so I thought this was a good um, place to start. This is pretty much where I left off with the materials and with the 3d model um but yeah it's a great tool to use um you could like change out like scenes materials cameras um in like the image size 16 by 9 is really good too for presentations because it like automatically gets to the size of like a presentation i love being able to change the backgrounds um on the left here you can go to like um the backdrops and obviously like change the background and you just see how like realistic it is um oh. <laughs> the watch is in the desert that's pretty cool for a watch obviously you would want it to be like on a table or something change the orientation of it then it kind of looks like it's there on the table and of course if you put like the time into it it'll look more and more realistic uh, one of my favorite parts of keyshot is like the ground reflections like it's a small detail but as you can see like it creates like a reflection so if it's on a reflected surface um it looks pretty cool like on there you can see kind of how it like reflects downwards honestly that's pretty cool it's a great tool to use to create hyper-realistic renderings. You can do industrial design without having to go to school, but 
you can always like improve on your skills in industrial design you shouldn't feel so much pressure trying to be perfect right now but it's really a learning process you just start with these basic tools sketchbook pro rhino and Keisha, those are like solid, a solid three that you start with, with industrial design, and then you just go on from there. Um, but obviously, there's like other softwares that you can use, like Blender. Um, that's a really good one. Fusion 360, and there's always more, you know, that come out. Obviously, but those are what I use. And honestly, if you want to be an industrial designer, I say go for it but don't feel like you have to go to school for it. But if you are, honestly, I think that's a great route as well because a lot of jobs require that you have an industrial design degree if you wanna go about going into industrial design in the corporate world or a more traditional job. But if you also wanna just learn on your own, I mean, I'm here to help, you know, ask many questions so that you have and what you wanna see. But I hope this was helpful. And you kind of get an insight on what I do as an industrial designer so you can make your own decision. Are these things that you want to do every day? And you can go from there. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.